Hall. Good morning. We camped out at the marina and we're gonna sort out Jesse's friend's boat, which is oil locked yesterday. Yeah. Not really starting today. Two gallons of oil in, and someone's kind of supposed to have one gallon of oil in was problem number one. So. <laughs> On a long list of problems, but uh, let's go take a look at this thing. Uh -huh. This is the current issue. So the main issue right here is that uh, we're up super early because the harbor master gets in at eight and this boat is not the most legally parked boat. So we gotta move this thing pronto and we're gonna put it up on a hook and uh, yeah, kayak back in. Little piece of the sail life right there. Come on in. I'm gonna pull your fenders up. Did you already pull them up? motoring along and then a great big shutter. Now the engine won't start. It's the Ziza. It's what it kind of sounded like. Yeah, it sounded like a Ziza. Eh. Uh, that takes a lot to seize an engine like that. Yeah, and it, it usually, I mean, I, I think, I almost think it was a tranny seize, bro. Time to donate this watch. Interesting. So yeah, a bit of a familiar scene if you've uh, seen me sailing on the bay uh, before in the previous episode, so uh, we're just sitting here, no engine. This time we have no sails to rely on either, although there's no wind, so I don't know if that would help us anyway. We got an engine, it just doesn't work. We well, got an oversized anchor, <laughs> and uh, we called in the towing, but it's an hour out, so just gotta tell some funny stories in the meantime. Do you have any sailing jokes? I uh, probably do, let's see. Hmm. What is a pirate's favorite letter. R. You would think it'd be R, yeah. but it's actually the C. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we found ourselves a couple of uh, fishermen to pull us in. Our, ironically, our giant fishing boat pulled in by a much, much smaller fishing boat. You're in charge of dropping the hook, Steve. When, when yeah, I'm Steve. Come on, don't screw it up, Steve. So now we just need to paddle to just to the exact right spot because the guys got us within like 30 feet of it. Let me check the app. Let's check our low tide depths exactly right here. Technology. We'll see. So if you want it a little deeper, it's actually better if we go a little bit to our left over there, like right outside of that wreck. It's deeper, yeah. Once you drop it, we're gonna start back paddling. We're gonna back top, back paddle until it's taut, okay? So uh, yeah, things have uh, progressed. We've got it on anchor, which is good. We're in the right spot, which is good. We managed to punch a hole in our only inflatable dinghy to get back to shore. That's not Maybe good. Multiple Maybe multiple holes. <clears throat> also, I don't have my cell phone on me, but I do have this camera, which I now have to trust to an inflatable dinghy. I'm not feeling good about hey, that. Steve, hey, my jacket. Everything I have on me is disposable. Are you disposable? Though? I got my shit phone on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be able to make some time. 
I don't know, I need paddles though. I'm on my tail for you. Steve, be careful. All right. Have you had other persons just here? Only good looking girls, not you. Alright, bro, paddle. Take care. We're back in 15. Yeah, don't sink. Anyway, don't worry. Bosque Sanya will come back tonight. Perfect, thank you. I appreciate that. Somebody feed my dog, eh? There's an open out water for you. I mean, I don't mean to sound a little pessimistic, but uh, I'm starting to second guess some of the advice that he's been giving me after all this time. <laughs> he's like, uh, overheating boat engine and then uh, inflatable dinghy with a hole in the side of it. <sighs> I'd like to just go out sailing and not have anything go wrong. Hopefully that'll happen in the next couple days and we'll hit, we'll hit the Bay Area without any misadventures whatsoever and just a beautiful day of sailing because so far I haven't really made it past like the channels in so yeah my hero Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> destroyer thank you yeah, very much we made it now the harbor master is really on our ass about being parked here for so long so uh we're gonna hit the road and get out of here there are a few major keys to like my happiness. I think it's like, I gotta shower, I gotta keep up on the shower, I gotta keep up on the coffee, I gotta keep up on uh, the cleanliness of the van, and I gotta keep up on my editing of the episodes. All those things, if I let them slip for too long, they stress me out, and then I get all like uh, grumpy pants. So uh, now that I got some of that edited and uploaded, I feel like amazing and also extremely hungry. So uh, do some dinner. But first, I gotta show you this. This is really cool. It's really cool, Jim. It's really cool. Check this out. I finally fixed the cutting board. So for a long time, the brackets had originally broken down here. And so I replaced them with these really heavy duty hinges. Champ, watch out. See what I mean? These big heavy duty guys. But then I had no way of like propping it up. And those, latches that I was using before, those like locking, uh, fold downable like shelf things, they were great, but you can't find them anywhere. So I put a belt on this side and you just pull this belt up and up here, the other half of the belt is here. Slide that in, lock that down and you're off to the races. The nice thing is this is a going to stretch a little bit, it's adjustable, but I can put a lot of weight on this. This is really well bolted in. It's a lot stronger than the old setup, so very happy to have my cutting board back. So the cooking segments can get a little bit of an upgrade, and I'm really pumped on this. All right, let's get some dinner going. gigantic portion of tortellini with a rosé sauce and sausage, tomatoes, um, jalapeno peppers. I think there's extra serrato peppers. Anyway, hot peppers. And it's just like really, really good. And I made it in a parking lot of Starbucks because I don't care. And I'm really, really hungry and I really, really want dinner. Probably one of my favorite meals. I just love it. It's not really complicated. It's just so good. I really should do an episode coming up soon where I make this by hand the noodles and stuff yeah I need to do that okay I'll do it actually I want to do an episode coming up late uh, soon where it's just recipes so I just do breakfast lunch dinner and I do them like as beautiful as I can so that'll be coming up soon too so stay tuned for that a lot of you guys are really into recipes and wanting me to post recipes I mean, maybe like in the van dweller community I'm a decent cook but like in the regular community of regular people I'm just an average cook so it's really not something to shout home about. 
I won't be putting out like a cookbook or anything like that. Yeah. Actually, I have a yeah. camper vanning cookbook, and it's probably like the most pretentious thing I've ever read. So I won't be doing that. It's just not my my jam. But I'll make some videos about it, and I'll eat all these delicious things. And you'll have some too. Don't worry. Calm down. Thank you.